The last time we saw the bull taco, it was making a pretty horrible racket. That doesn't sound good, does it? It sounded like a top end noise, so it's time to have a look at the barrel, the piston, cylinder head, and see what's what. The barrel, cylinder head, and piston, they looked all right, to be honest, which is almost a bit worrying because where's the problem? The bottom of the barrel, the surfaces there were very rusty and some idiot has used gasket goo in the past, so that all needed to be cleaned off. With the circlips and gudgeon pin removed, we can have a look at the piston. It's an oversized piston, which means a rebore has been done before, but it all looks really good. The same cannot be said, however, for the small end bearing. Doesn't look too bad, but it's quite a bit of wear. It's not completely fallen apart yet, but the same as the gudgeon pin, there's a bit of wear on that as well, so it's worth replacing. The gasket surfaces and cylinder studs were cleaned up, after which a new gudgeon pin, circlip, and small end bearing were installed. Using a proper paper gasket, it was now time to refit the barrel. While the bike was apart, I thought now would be a good time to update the old points ignition to a more modern electronic type. Fitting it was dead easy. The ignition timing is even sorted out of the box. So having inspected and rebuilt the top end, did it make any difference whatsoever to this horrible noise? I forgot to actually record this part, but the answer was a resounding no. But I then started to wonder, maybe the noise is coming from behind the clutch cover. Right, <clears throat> so after tearing it all down again, we've got the, a bit further this time actually, we've got the clutch side cover off. So the clutch is in here, you've got all the little plates. Normally it's in a bath of oil. Got the flywheel here, quite a heavy flywheel. For trials, a little wire to stop it coming undone. No play at all in that, absolutely fine. If we can get the camera underneath. The end of the tension has come apart. It's fallen apart. So let's get that replaced. Right, well here it is. Look at the state of that chain tension. So this jagged end away from my finger, so this jagged end here, has been rubbing on the chain. It's going clunk, clunk, clunk along the chain. So uh, that probably explains that. Without it, it turns beautifully. So this has got to be the issue. So I'm going to replace it with whatever's the appropriate design. Uh, I don't know what should have been on this, but it looks horrendous. So the rest of it must have broken off somewhere, but I can't see anything obviously in there. I've also found the little wheel that should go on the tensioner. And look at the state of that. The, the presumably aluminium bit in the middle, or in the middle of the rubber, should spill on this brass bush. But you can see the brass isn't even round. What the hell's happened to that? So yeah, all of this has pretty catastrophically failed. A little sheared off. And um, so to make sure I get all the bits out from here and the case down here, there's a lot of crap down there as well. And get all that out and give it a good clean up. Hopefully, that'll be it. It's all good. With the chain tensioner replaced, I fitted a reproduction tail light along with a genuine Spanish period headlight, made up a wiring loom to go with the new ignition, and we thought we'd give it a try, get it running, see if this noise has gone away, and I'm pleased to report it has. Problem solved.